Hello and uh, welcome back to the Southampton save. Today we've got a game against Olympiacos in the European Cup and the league game against Hull. Now, since you were last with me, uh, we played two games, we lost to Middlesbrough. Again, just... We should be winning that. Middlesbrough, where are they in the league? Let's have a look at the league, shall we? Where do I find that? Competitions. Middlesbrough? Are they even there? They're 18th. Either way, they're 18th. We beat West Brom and Everton, because they're pretty rubbish, but we couldn't beat at Middlesbrough, you know, couldn't quite get to them. Um, so we lost to them. We then changed our formation to the 4-4-2 for Olympiacos, because clearly what we were using before them wasn't working, and we won 3-0. So hopefully we should just do the same again, have a good win against Olympiacos, and then uh, dominate Hull, hopefully, because if we look back at the league table again, we have just dropped behind that top six. Um... And it's looking very unlikely that we're going to get there, which is a shame, really. So the team for today is uh, a back four of Bertrand, Cahill, Van Dyke, and because De Chilio is suspended and we've just sort of lost all defenders, Ward Prowse is going right back. Midfield four of Buffal, Romero, Classy, and Redmond with Moreno and Austin up top, as per usual. Also, you may notice we've got uh, Jeremy Pierre on the bench. He's he was at the club before I uh, before I took over. But he had a seven-month injury, so he's uh, so he, he's finally back on the bench after seven months out, and you know he's never going to start for us. I don't really know why the club signed him uh, in real life. I guess he was a well backup, I suppose. But and see, this is my philosophy of football: is that well, even when I'm playing football manager, the backups are always going to be younger. They've got to be upcoming players, and they start to get experience, and they suddenly they start to overtake the play we've already got there. Um, However, that does get a bit annoying when you've got your first starting player at 22 and the backup's 18. Um, and then the 18-year-old suddenly gets better and it's like, well, who who do you back him up with? Because the player who's 22 is just going to want to move on because he's not getting games and he's young and can still improve. So perhaps I should look to older players for a bit of backup when needs be. However, in the game, we're on the attack which is nice to see for a change, you know, Burnley and Middlesbrough were pretty rubbish. Uh, but it's come to nothing, unfortunately. Although the highlight has just finished, I thought it was going to say, I thought it was going to carry on, but clearly not. They're playing quite an attacking formation, as you sort of expect when you're 3-0 down in aggregate. Um, they are at home though, so they'll have a home advantage. Apparently there's too much space between the midfields, midfield and the attackers, but I don't really know how to change it. Um, I've never really bothered with it, you know. We, we'll win anyway. I'm sure we'll win. It's fine. Uh, I say that now, we'll probably lose 4 0 and crash out of the, the Euro Cup second round. I think the round after this, though, is the quarter final, which is where the board want me to get to. So at least I'll have met one board target um, after I failed to meet, meet the cup targets. Um, although, saying that, they are one nil up. Twenty uh, fourth goal of the season. Blimey, he's done well, hasn't he? Um, but we've been on top actually, so I, I, I fancy our chances to get back in this. Let's go and prove a point out there, boys. We've got a whole half. It's nil nil again. That's what you tell the players. When I used to play football, when I was I don't know, twelve. In fact, every goal that went in, if we scored it, if they scored it manager would always shout to us from the sidelines it's no no it's no nil again no no so you can never really enjoy a win you know it was always no no you're always playing for a draw essentially uh, as Buffo puts the ball in Austin heads it wide that was probably the best chance we've had or at least I've seen us have now they're on the attack again and uh, for all our shots and possession we've not really created many chances we've had no clear cut chances whereas they had one so I suppose they deserve to be ahead and they've they've tackled us as we've got into their, their attacking third, or their defending third, our attacking third, whichever way around it is. Uh, we've made some interceptions though, but they've just tackled us again. We've got Cambiasso playing in the middle. I wonder if that's Esteban. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Oh, and they've scored another, and it's starting to look a little bit worrying now, actually. Um, I'm a bit sceptical now. I'm not sure our team's really <laughs> good enough at the moment. 
Shane Long's abysmal. Dallas is very poor. I'm not sure why he's so upset. Moreno's coming off, though. Um, let's bring Pierre on for Romero. Cause he's not really doing that much. We'll leave it like that for now. I want to score at least a goal today. Because we played so well last game. And we deserve to go through, I think. And if you look at this game, Warprouse puts the corner in, nothing happens. Buffold plays it back to Bertrand. And his ball in did nothing. And Cardozo is going forward. Oh my goodness, if they score now, I'm. <sighs> They've actually come back into it, haven't they? They've had a lot more shots recently, in the past 10 minutes or so, surely. They've now got a free kick. But Thales, shoot, have a shot. Oh, he misses the opportunity. He should have had a shot then. Austin plays it to War Prowse. Geordie Classy plays it to Pierre, to Thales, to Austin. Beautiful, come on. Oh, we get tackled again. Brown, Iddy, needs tighter marking apparently. And they've just gone and scored. Oh. How is this happening to us? I mean... We've had just as many shots of them, but we just can't score. Come on, Ward Prowse. Come on, boys, just do something with it. And we haven't, and their keeper's got it, and they're going to launch a counter-attack, and they're going to score, aren't they? I'm a bit nervous to talk. I don't really know what to say. I'm just a bit shocked, really, that this has happened to us. Austin plays the Redmond. Redmond coming forward. Oh, and Pierre has just banged that in from distance. And that might have saved us because we've now got an away goal, so they'll have to score two, won't they? As far as I'm aware, they'll have to score two. So let's try and get some more just to cement it, I think. You know, let's play some attacking football. Let's get another goal. We've got one more sub to make. Let's bring Alfie Jones on again because that did wonders last time. After he uh, came on in the Burnley game, and I'm going to blame him for that. Oh my god. Goodness, I'm blaming him for that as well. Why am I bringing Alfie Jones on? He's only League One quality. He should be playing in the Europa Cup. Oh no, I wasn't even on. He wasn't even on the pitch. It's not his fault. I'm still giving it his to him. It's his fault. I don't care. And if we can just hold on, I think we should be through. I don't think it'll go to extra time, will it? We'll be through surely. But oh, blimey. Okay, final whistle. I mean, probably deserve credit for an impressive victory. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say I'm not happy. Charlie Austin's demotivated. I don't really care, mate. I don't really care. Okay, now so we're back for the second game against Hull. Uh, we made a few changes. Wall Prowse moves back in midfield as Dishillo is not suspended for this game, uh, and Davis comes into the centre midfield as well. And actually, I might be changing from a box to box. No, I won't. I'll leave him as box to box, I think. I like playing like that. Uh, and Thales comes in for Charlie Austin instead, because I think he deserves a chance in the starting 11. So if we look at the table, we've actually got two games in hand on Liverpool. Um, so actually, if we win them both, we could catch up with them. However, our recent form of the league, losing to Middlesbrough, losing to Burnley, only just beating Everton and West Brom at the bottom. Uh, I don't have huge hopes for, for Hull, uh, especially as we're playing away. However, I think if we lose this, then it's, there's no point really going on. Looking for a top six finish, there'll be no point. I think if we can't beat these kind of teams, then there's no, we don't deserve to be in finishing top six. Um, although, actually saying that, it's top seven that get European football, isn't it? Depending on who wins the, uh, the League Cup and the FA Cup. Although Newcastle won the, the League Cup, so it, it is top six for us at the moment. But Thales has just scored a beautiful goal and that was actually beautiful four he's done well there so what a good signing that is hey what a good signing he's the only player that's really played well for us recently I'd say um, I mean that is a bit harsh to be fair I'm getting a bit bit annoyed that we're losing but we're being overrun in the midfield apparently I'm not sure how though because they've only got two central midfielders I mean three if you count the CDM I suppose but we shouldn't be, shouldn't be outplayed in that midfield, surely. 
Andrew Robinson is an accomplished cross for the ball, must be closed down. Well, let's close him down then. Has actually Hull have been dominant? And I'm, it's tactics that I'm probably just getting all wrong. Because we couldn't be dominant playing what their formation, what they're playing. The 4 1 2 2 1, or the 4 3 2 1, or the 4 3 3, it depends how you look at it. And then we've used the 4 4 2, and it's not really worked either. Um, let's guard against complacency because I need to get three points. That's the main focus for us at the moment. I think it's also a lack of squad depth. We've not really got much in the way of squad depth after we sold a few players and we've picked up injuries and I sp suppose that form was always going to drop at some point and we've not had the squad depth to be able to cope with that. So maybe that's one of the reasons that we've not been playing too well recently. And the biggest thing is inconsistent performances as well. Like we had a, such a dominant game against Olympiacos in the first round when you weren't watching. And then when you were watching, we did rubbish. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you guys are watching and and that's making us rubbish as Will Prout has had a rubbish game himself and is looking very tired. We'll take him off. I mean, we haven't even got a winger to bring on. Oh, we've got... Okay, we'll put Redmond on the left and we'll give a... A debut to Jeremy Pierre. I think that was awful. Just let's pretend I didn't do that. Uh, Moreno's played awful as well, actually, hasn't he? We might take him off for uh, another striker. Defensive played all right. They're, they're on sevens, aren't they? But I'm going to regret saying that now, as they've just scored. And. Um, Oh. That top six finish is looking very unlikely now. We've got to go overload. We've got to get a goal in this game, surely. But oh, don't look at the stats. Just don't look at them. Take more risks. That's what I'm looking for. I just don't know what to do anymore. Um, it's just becoming a bit frustrating. Well, I'm not really enjoying playing it at the moment because we're just losing, and I'm, there's not really much I'm seemingly able to do about it. I mean, obviously there will be things I can do about it, but in my tactical locker, I can't really see what I should be doing. I mean, I should probably look at the stats more, look at the the, the reports from matches more, maybe. I don't know. That might work. Um, however, it's looking like we're going to have a disappointing draw against Hull, of all teams, who are sitting 15th in the league and looking like they want to try and survive a relegation battle and Moreno's done next to nothing there Bertrand to Cahill with an awful pass they've now got the ball they're on the attack but we're on the attack if you score now Moreno which you haven't I was going to hug you but I can't because this is the game and um, and that's it I suppose isn't it now surely with two seconds left not more to, yeah, there we go full time at the circle I don't know why they call it the circle on this when it's the KC Stadium in real life I don't know if that's to do with legal issues I don't know um, but that wasn't good enough I'm afraid so um, I'll see you next time we've got Ajax in the quarterfinals you might see that in fact you will see that I mean what, there's no point in playing it that's, the, that's what you want to see now Euro Cup it's not like we're going to do any good in the league. We're not going to win it. So uh, I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.